Good afternoon, Midby Presbyterian Church. So you know how boats float, right? I mean, they're, they're lighter than the weight of the water that they displace. They're net less dense than water. The, the buoyancy forces on the boat are less than the weight of the thing. Ducks float for the very same reason, or sticks, or people in the right conditions. Anything that floats is. And it's because floating is directly related to the weight and the displacement of the object. You know what I've never thought about, though, until today? The displacement of a turkey. I've thought a lot about the weight of a turkey, right? That's how turkeys are purchased. They're bought and they're sold by their weight. But I've never thought about how much a turkey displaces. But it turns out that the displacement of a turkey is actually a very important piece of knowledge to have. A safety critical consideration for turkeys. And not just those who wet brine their turkeys, who don't want a kitchen full of salt water, but the displacement of a turkey is vital for anyone who chooses to participate in the dangerous hobby of deep frying turkeys. Now, I have all of the equipment if we wanted to go about deep frying a turkey. I have the propane burners and the big stock pots and, and all these different things. But the piece of equipment that I don't have when it comes to frying a turkey is a will of steel. Because I'm too chicken, if you'll pardon the pun, to attempt to deep fry a turkey. Because I don't want to be wrong about the displacement and then have all of this super hot cooking oil overflow my pot onto my propane burner and then catching fire and then all of that burning hot oil flowing onto the grass and catching the grass or whatever on fire and then the grass catching my propane tank on fire and then subsequently I live in a crater. I don't want that. Now some people love the thrill of the cook but I prefer to take my life into my own hands in other ways. But it's really interesting to me all the different ways that people have figured out how to cook these really kind of silly birds. And everyone has an opinion on the best way to do it. And I think when we get caught up in all these fascinating sorts of conversations, we miss a key piece of information. That we have turkeys in the first place. That we have food on our plates. That we have people to share a meal with. That we have an opportunity to share with one another and care for one another and celebrate with one another. All these things are gifts from God. Even turkey fryers are a gift from God, I suppose. And so I just want to take an opportunity to let you know that I'm thankful for you. And I'm thankful for these videos. They actually, they take a decent amount of time, but I personally find them pretty meaningful. It's a time for me to reflect and, and explore mostly interesting things. And I'm thankful for you for putting up with me and for taking the time to engage and to listen. And I'm thankful God has given us each other to make community together in this weird way through a TV screen and a camera. Anyway, until next time, thank you and peace be with you.